into the new forest right now. Um, Ollie's meeting us down tomorrow. He uh, will be slithering his way down from London with the cameras. At high speed. Uh, at a very high speed, high tailing it down. So we're actually been very kindly invited down um, by the guys at Daisy Bank Cottage. So um, really looking forward to staying there, seeing the new forest, hanging out with them, and they're just based. Just having an awesome right weekend. Right in the middle. Of yeah, right in the middle. Ready for adventures. Oh yeah, you know we're ready for adventures. God, it is lovely down there. Is it worth just pulling in here quickly and sending the drone up? So we've actually just uh, taken a wrong turn, but found this delightful little area where we might just uh, jump out, have a look around and send the drone up. That's a good wrong turn. Yeah, thanks man. Popped off in the wrong direction. Well, Tom took a wrong turn. I've, uh, I've got a nose for this thing. <laughs> it's actually ended up being wildly right. We found a glorious little sort of area, a bit of heathland. Open grassland. Give you guys a look around and the sun is about to set, so we thought we'd go for a look around and maybe get the drone out. Look at this little spot. We could, we could be in the middle of nowhere right now. Apart from that fence giving it away. <laughs> oh, really nice light. Oh, <laughs> nearly stepped in poo. Look at that. Never wish for you to go to roll down that old road. You're making my heart low. That was a cool little uh, mistaken find there by Beaten Track. Yeah. A few ponies? Yeah, we saw some wild ponies. It was a good little find. It was. Silhouettes look really nice. Trees at sundown. Did you get any good snaps? Got a few good snaps. Got Ooh. dark quite quickly, um, so we're going to jump back in the car and head to the cottage now. Can't wait. See you there. It's going to be wild. <laughs> Little fall there. Bit of mist coming over in the background there. Wild horses of the new forest. We just had an absolutely amazing sunrise. Such a good spot. Like all the clouds came out, and there was like this mist along the uh, along the base. It was really, really nice. What do you think, man? Just really, yeah, really fresh, and you could hear some of the wild horses in the background, and it's just perfect. Yeah, yeah. glorious way to start the day. That's why you get up at 5 a.m. for the good yeah. sunset. It's worth, it's worth your pupils cracking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to get up, but it's worth it all the same. Yeah. Look at that.
beautiful. There's a wild horse here for you guys. Big day of paddleboarding and cycling through the new forest. Or well, paddleboarding on the coast, cycling through the new forest, so it should be good. <laughs> like Ollie's gonna be good. arriving down in about an hour or two, so really looking forward to seeing him and having a big adventure today. Woo! So we actually just popped off on the side of the road on the way back from uh, getting our sunrise shot and home spotted a whole herd of wild horses and a few cows. It's like a, about six cows, but you can see those are the cows there, obviously, and then all the nice horses just in front of us. There's a big cow coming in in the background there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then all across the, uh, the hill, like little rising little ridge line there's way more horses up there pretty cool yeah. what do you think so wild cool. so wild cool. we could be maybe we could take up a life as wild horses on the new forest especially times of charges uh -oh. chilling on the floor. We just came across a lovely little, uh, oh, there's a lot of flies on there. <laughs> nice fresh uh, horse poo there. Just came across a really nice, peaceful group of grazing wild horses. Um, so we just decided to stop off and go and hang out with them for a little bit. And now we're on our way back to the cottage. Gonna grab some munch. And then we'll be heading down to go paddle boarding down Key Haven. I think it's called Hurst Spit, so that would be really cool to go and check out those places. So here comes John! Yeah, grab some breakfast, grab some paddle boards, and go for a swim, most likely, in my case. Ooh. Some cows that just crossed the road right in front of us. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, oh he's going for it! Oh. We are officially all together. But Ollie's here, he's arrived, oh there he is. How's it going, man? He was running late because he's a snake. <laughs> but anyway, we're just on our way to paddleboarding now. Um, really, really beautiful weather. The sun's coming out, lots of cool wispy clouds above. Um, so we're going out to Keyhaven, a bit of paddleboarding, send the drone up, get some nice shots and have a beautiful day. <laughs> all right, see you there. So we're actually down Key Haven, down at the water now. We're just going to get Tom to go out on the uh, paddleboard first. We just got the one, get some good shots, good film, and then uh, see how we go. Maybe go for a little paddle around as well, um, or a little snorkel. But we'll get the drone up. Beautiful little, uh, bay down here. We're going to head over to the little beach over there and film from there, me and Ollie, and then we'll try and get into the. Uh, in the water as well, maybe go for a little snorkel or just go for another paddle board as well, but it should be good. You ready, man? You ready? I'm ready to take some skills. Kill, kill. Oh, yeah. We want to I guess you need a minute. Yeah, no, I'll just take some more. You can do it, Tom. You're gonna go so badly. Oh, yes. And there he goes. See you over the beach. Let us know how America is. <laughs> Tom's been reincarnated. He's already sunk to the bottom. <laughs> All right, so Tom just jumped out and launch. We're going to stroll around to the beach and give him a little film from the beach around the other side. It's a bit more secluded, a bit clearer and see how we go. 
If we have time, we'll probably maybe jump out on the board. Try and tip him. I'm going to get in the water regardless, even if it's just running and splatting into the, into the water. But yeah, we'll go meet him around there now, so we'll see you guys around there. Always remember to cream up, guys. Yeah, I haven't, and I'm slightly worried. My fair skin is going to take a real bruising today. Yeah, we both have fairly fair skin. <laughs> Old beach shoot Roblin on account of the, the Celtic genes that we both have, so it could go very wrong if we don't sun cream up. <laughs> Tom's all right, Tom's looking pretty tan. Yeah, packed up a bit of a tan during the lockdown. Didn't know it got sunny in Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully, get some sweet, sweet shots. Hopefully, we'll have him falling straight yeah. off the boat. We're gonna walk around then, he'll be soaking wet. Wow, I'm gonna talk about it. You'll only be able to tell that he's wet because his beard will be wet. Yeah. Chilling. Imagine being able to rest your face on your back and go to sleep. <laughs> what happened? So when we when we walked up there and the guy was like, you know, we don't want anyone to film it if they're not going to look like they know what they're doing. So you need to have paddle the right way around. Tom's like, yeah, yeah, I know all of that. This way around, right? And he's like, no, that's the right way around. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact that it's the fact that he tried to make his argument afterwards. Oh no way! Oh, that can't be the right way around. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I work it. Yeah. We'll uh, sign that. This is pretty nice. Just. Heading along, nearly at the beach now. Ollie's just getting a long shot Tom paddleboard up ahead of us. And, but we have an entire day of cycling ahead of us, so it's gonna be absolutely epic. Tomorrow we've got the canoeing, um, so it's gonna be a really exciting weekend and it's lovely staying down at Daisy Bank. Really lovely little cottage, it's a really peaceful place. Very, very nice, really relaxing, lovely little rooms. Slept like a baby last night before our 5am start, which was very needed. I'm glad about that. So that's the the key. The Isle of Wight in the background there. And there is Tom. Give us a wave, Tom! <laughs> you haven't fallen in yet then? Well come on, give the viewers what they want. Fall in, damn it. Look at him uh, cruising around, having a great time. I didn't realize the Isle of Wight was quite so close. I didn't know it was that close. Are we sure that's the Isle of Wight? Yeah. There's not going to be anything else, is it? I didn't know it was that small either. You wouldn't know that we're. Uh... I said it in the distance down there. Ah, uh, right. It's quite big. Yeah, I knew the Isle of Wight was big. <laughs> Tom, tell me about the paddleboard. It feels like flying. I like how far you're venturing out into the key. <laughs> he is, this is this is the shore here, and that's where Tom is. <laughs> but I will get the drone up now. Oh, I don't know if you can see in the foreground, background even. This in the background here is actually an old castle. I'm gonna quickly get the drone up now. Um, so we can have a look at Tom failing from the sky. <laughs> All right. Uh, The shallower it grows, 
the shallower it grows, the fainter we go into the deeper down. If we build all those bridges to watch them thin down the dust, or blow them voluntarily out of constant trust. The clock is ticking, it's last couple of talks, and there won't be a party with the weather in front. The shallower it grows, the shallower it grows, the fainter we go. Well, that was bloody beautiful. Just got some great footage of Tom going around on the paddleboard. Really, really good fun. Beautiful little key. But just heading back to the car now. Let's see, let's sort the other guys over the other side there now. It's, it's How did you like find that. it? That was really good fun, man. That was so much fun. And they were saying that you can do tours right the way down, like day tours down to Hearst Castle and moonlight tours. Oh, so you go moonlight the tours. Yeah. That would be so nice. But it's really, really great out there. Really fresh, warm water. I didn't fall in. So I'm a gymnast. Much to mine and Os Ollie's yeah, disappointment. Yeah, I saw some. I was really hoping to see you fall in. I was, I was like, oh, see oh, yeah, get him back on the boat. I'm <laughs> kind of chased by some uh, swans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it tiring? Did you find it? Was it quite straining? The way back, actually, I was surprised. I mean, you're just going against the current, so it's, it was great fun. And they do like one to one lessons and stuff. It's something I'd really like to pick up. Yeah, it's like definitely something I think I'd really yeah. like to do. When we go up to the lakes, I mean, I'd the love to do the lakes. Way better as well. It's a good yeah. thing speaking to them just now and them saying how busy they are. They've got you know so many people who want to come yeah. in and experience yeah. these things. Because, yeah. you know, they're not going on holiday, they're not going abroad. These things are on their back door and so many people have just realised it. And you know, it's far more enjoyable. To That's it, isn't it? I mean, stuff like going down to Cornwall to go for a surf. Yeah. Or, um, well, yeah, something like this. It's beautiful. You don't have to travel miles away to see amazing things and do amazing things. That's what So Wild Co is about. That's why we started all this. Exactly. That's why we're an international multi corporation now. <laughs> yeah. That's why we own everything. Hello, Apple. Sponsors. Um, cool. Cool. Let's bounce. That is awesome. Great name. It's good sea legs. Now that is a badass mobile. We're actually walking down to the spit now. First spit. Uh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one! But yeah, wind's starting to pick up. We are going to try and send the drone up. Um, we'll see how we go when we get down there. We'll put Icarus through a lot worse conditions before he survived it, so we'll push him. We'll push him.
doing magic on Icarus. I am. I am currently at 94 meters plummeting from the sky. <laughs> Waters, lots of people paddle boarding, kayaking, canoeing, all sorts. Beach was beautiful, nice pebble beach, a huge big spit that goes right the way along it called Hurst Spit. Really, really nice. And actually, managed to get the, uh, the drone up. We lost uh, transmission several times, and Tom actually had to run down halfway along the beach to catch it. Um, <laughs> because it was on 0% battery and it was about to fall from the sky. Uh, but yeah, really good. Managed to get the fourth in there. Got some nice shots of the Isle of Wight, obviously from a distance, but loads of the spit. Um, it's actually really nice, the guys at Daisy Bank specifically uh, said they really, really like the spit, so we wanted to really capture that nicely, and I think we have. I think we've got some really nice shots of that. But yeah, now we're gonna roll on back to the car sort of charge up all our batteries, maybe have a bite to eat. So that's the rest of the day is going to be spent cycling through the new forest. I'm going to do a route called Ornamental Ornamental Woods, I think it is. Um, it's like 10 miles, so it's going to take us a long time. Get some beautiful shots in there, right through the middle of the woodland. But yeah, it's going to be awesome. Good to see you there, guys. Daisy Bank Cottage, our cosy retreat for our weekend of exploring the new forest. Tucked away deep within the forest, Daisy Bank Cottage provides a peaceful and secluded getaway. rapid access to a whole host of wild adventures. From paddle boarding on the coast, to cycling through the heart of the forest, to canoeing down peaceful rivers. Daisy Bank really is the perfect sanctuary for all wildland explorers. Seeking refuge in natural surroundings, and reconnecting with nature. With the forest on your doorstep, a pleasant and peaceful stroll through the trees and woodlands is always on the cards. Or, Daisy Bank can just be a place to kick back brew a hot drink, and relax to the tunes of the wild all around you. Oh, this is lovely. Thank you. Right, we go left onto this road, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hello. Yes, take him on the outside. Oh, yeah. Hello guys. Look at this beautiful vista. This is what it's all about guys. How nice is this? <laughs> You get back here! 
Let's just go and take in this view a minute, I think. How are you doing? What do you think of this? It's good, isn't it? Loads of horses. I've got to say, I like the, uh, the open plains as much as the forest. I'd like to see your location. Yeah, so we're there. Okay. We've just gone off. And we're going out to ornament, ornamental woods. Hello ponies. Do we want to jump in here somewhere? The ocean is a desert with its life underground and the perfect skies above. Under the city lies a heart made of ground, but the humans uh -huh. give Oh yeah. In the desert, you can remember your name, cause there ain't no one for to give you no pain. So we've just been cycling through a beautiful new forest, all through the, uh, the woodland area and the actual forest itself around one of the heathland areas and there is tons of wild horses around. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, it's boiling as well. Cycling is hot work. Ollie's just trying to capture some of the uh, little foal over there. Yeah, get in there. It's amazing, isn't it? It that really is. All these horses are just... I just love the pockets of wood. Open yeah, I'm, I'm a big the fan of these uh, open areas. Oh, no, you know. nice shot. It looked like you got a nice straight, shot. It looked straight at me. I got a nice shot, and the mum started pouring yeah. the ground. She was not. Like my mum does, was like, my mum doesn't see it, please, when I put <laughs> along in the crisp aisle. Oliver, <laughs> put it back, Ollie. Put it back. One more bag of crisp. No. Pretty cool. Trying to stay away from the horses as much as possible. Don't really want to disturb them. This is their home, not mine. Would respect the locals. Since you heard from Jesus, peace. 
Surely we've got to check this bit out. Yeah. That looks right up our street. Oh, this is just glorious. Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh wow, that is good fun actually. <laughs> Oh, this is a beautiful spot. Just have a bit of a look around. Absolutely beautiful. This kind of reminds me of Scotland around my grandpa's house. There was just loads of trees and you felt like you are in the middle of nowhere, but then there'd just be a random path that a Land Rover would go up. Yeah, all right, how's it going, man? Good. So it's God, this is glorious. That wind was amazing. <laughs> Don't stop now, Ollie. I'm right on your tail. <laughs> Take it on the right, Tom. Do it. I don't 
Rainy. Oh, nice little river. Cattle grid. Oh, cattle grid. Oh, Stop all those cattle getting a run. Yeah, we're just on our way to Bewley River to do some canoeing. We've got the canoe for quite a while, so we're hoping to go on a little bit of a voyage, get some good snaps, take some good films. Um, it looks like it's a little bit rainy at the moment, but it's going to be sort of just mostly overcast for the rest of the day. Hopefully, it won't rain too much more. But it's going to be a beautiful day and then we're going to check out a beach called Tanner's Lane, I think the beach is actually called, so that would be good, it would be nice to get back to the coast again. Um, right now we're just driving through the middle of the forest and it is incredibly peaceful and beautiful. I got back to the house, my landlord cut the vines down, I hold my keys too tightly in my pocket. I walk into the room You're sleeping and it's quiet I want to know what for so If you go overboard, you can Heading down to the kayaking now Alright <laughs> This is going to be sick We've got our oars Ollie hasn't got an oar because he's useless and he's going to film I just can't film your legs though <laughs> Burn Ollie's scared because it's, uh, I am, I am. it's raining He's got his camera It's raining Special We're about camera. to go in the water Plus we're going to flip this thing Yeah I'm just hoping that these guys are going to be good enough to get out of the Ah, there's no guarantee of that He'll film me just like under the water just with the camera <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He died for that camera <laughs> Just arriving at the river now Just about to jump on the canoes how are we getting on, boys? Simply messing around on the river. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is lovely. I'm so glad I don't have a pad. Yeah, <laughs> you just get it's to like, chill. It's like driving Miss Daisy. This is awesome. Beautiful river. I'm right up the front. Yep. So cool. Then you can see that through the trees, but there's a really nice little house somewhere. How are you doing, Ollie? Yeah, just I'm chilling right. in the middle. This lucky bastard doesn't even have an oar. <laughs> Tom, how are you getting on? I'm getting on. There's a jellyfish. A couple of swans and an egret chilling out. What's a good river shanty? I'll get it again. Oh yeah. I'm going back to Texas. It all easy. Oh, what's the matter now? Ain't got the matter. Tell me what's the matter now? Ain't got the matter. I'm going back to Texas. It all easy. This is glorious. Now we're talking. Yeah, some cows over there. Nice dead trees. They're really cool looking. Some of them are, I don't know. There's a few that are, but some of them still have a lot of green on them. There are two schools of thought when it comes to trees. Oh, here we go. Ollie coming out with nonsense again. When you see me coming, I when I'm going back to take Jellyfish! Beautiful. I'm going back to take it all easy. Oh, this is nice classy water. One more drink. How are you going, Tom? I'm getting really good, mate. Just putting this down again. 
Oh. Well, are we supposed to stop here? Yeah, this is the truth. Yeah, this is awesome. River. Oh, I love all the, the pontoons. Yeah. Union Jack there. There was a pirate's flag at the end of one of them earlier on. Speed. We had an amazing canoe, that was awesome. We really, really enjoyed the river, really glassy water, really beautiful. It was actually really clear, even though it's quite a dark day. Loads of jellyfish, which was really cool. What Best do you think? Yeah, I just loved it for a minute, but it's just so peaceful out there. Yeah. yeah, it's really awesome, really flat, glassy no, water. It's great to get out for a paddle. Yeah, lots of jellyfish, we were able to pick them up and everything, which was really cool. But yeah, awesome. <laughs> 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 Look at your wet bum. And you're wearing navy as well, so it really shows through. We're just on our way to Tanner's Lane Beach now. Um, we're gonna send the drone up there, have a wander around. It's supposed to be a really beautiful beach, quite secluded, quite private, so I mean, there might not be many other people there. Um, and we're definitely gonna jump in for a swim, which will be really good fun. So we'll bring you guys along for the trip. And we've just actually seen quite a cool little ruin here. Oh, going, oh look at that. Oh. How are you finding, mate? Very oh, look at you and your pets! <laughs> Come for a little swim. About to jump under, see what it's like. Brought the snorkel in just in case the water is quite clear, but it doesn't look hugely clear. But you might be able to see some stuff at the bottom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was really nice. Really nice indeed. Um, just being summoned back in by Ollie. But that was awesome. It's a pretty beautiful place. And 
that was a really nice little swim. There's probably two or three meter visibility and it's great. It was really nice, lots of shells and we'll see you back at Daisy Bank. You. Uh, we just had an amazing time down at Tanner's Lane Beach. It was absolutely beautiful for this kind of like marshland kind of area and the water was all cut in between it and everything. And then there was a little lake. Yeah, it was a really nice little pebble beach and we actually went out for a bit of a swim and the water was actually quite clear. We had like sort of two or three meter visibility, actually probably one or two meter visibility, but enough to be able to see the bottom and all the different shells and rocks and the odd crab scurrying around. So it was really, really cool really peaceful beach and there was just again just no one there that's one thing we found incredible about the new forest is that you have all these incredible different activities different landscapes you've got the coast you've got the forest you've got the river and we've just had an absolute wild weekend really really enjoyed it and we think it's an amazing place we'd definitely love to come back um, and I hope that you guys enjoy the videos as much as we did enjoy the trips and making the videos but yeah that's the end of the weekend great weekend and we're gonna go and finish off a nice uh, little pint and download in the pub um and see you on the next trip Yoo -hoo!